Hi and welcome back to HANA Developer Channel. My name is Srikan. In this series of videos, we are looking at HANA Access Advanced Models using Web IDE for HANA. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a store procedure in a HDI container database. Then I'm going to run it to display the data results. And also I'm going to show you how to debug this procedure by setting up breakpoints. Okay, let's create the objects. I'm going to use HANA Express Edition software to do this uh, video. Uh, for that, I'm going to access Web ID for HANA as the client tool to develop the objects. I'm going to open HANA Web ID. I'm going to close the initial box. Uh, here I can see my database module already created, which is EPM data. Uh, it was done in my previous video where I had created several entities which are tables and also several CSV files uh, to load the data into those tables. This database module was deployed into my HDI container database which I can see from the my database explorer menu. So I can click on my database explorer menu I can see all the catalog items in here which are the runtime objects for those design time objects and display all the tables which I have prepared in my previous video. I'm going to use those tables uh, in order to create my store procedure for this session. And I'm going to uh, go back to the, the developer workspace. I'm going to choose my database module, the same database module which I have created in my previous video. I'm going to start creating a store procedure in there. The layout and the syntax of creating a store procedure and uh, writing the code is exactly same as how it is to be done in HANA Studio or Web Workbench. Absolutely no difference from the previous uh, client applications. We're going to see how it is done in Web IDE for HANA now. I'm going to access the same folder and say right click from the context menu. I'm going to choose new. I'm going to create a procedure. I'm going to name this as debug and then say create. It's going to be default layout going to come in the initial screen. Uh, it's going to be a language SQL script and the security invoker uh, and then uh, read the data as SQL. And then all the script logic is going to be between my begin and end and I'm going to write all the logic in here. So I'm going to copy paste the code which I already prepared before, which is in my notepad. I'm going to copy this one and put it in here. Um, I may have to define an input parameter here, which is a scalar variable with integer data type. Um, I can spend a little a bit of time uh, in explaining these two lines of code. It's very simple. I have an input parameter to pass to this procedure. It's just going to display a top two or top three, whatever the number which I'm going to give it here. And then I have another variable, table type variable declared internally, which is an imp implicit declaration. Uh, it's just going to have the type of the, uh, the output of the select query. And there's going to be another variable type table which is also going to get the output from the select uh, another select query. At the end, I'm going to display the result of the second uh, uh, table uh, to print it as an output of the procedure. So that's going to be my stored procedure. And I'm going to save this one. And then I'm going to build this uh, or activate or deploy this, pro uh, this procedure. The deployment started, it's going to deploy this particular procedure into my HDI container database. So uh, deployment completed successfully. Now I can go to Database Explorer and I can see my procedure created right here. So my procedure name is debugging. So I can I can open this procedure to see how it was created. I'm, on, I'm, I'm going to run this procedure to see how the data output of it. So I can uh, prepare a call statement for this one, a generate call statement. So it's going to call the HDI container based procedure. I'm going to pass a parameter to it, which is going to be, let's say I would like to see top three uh, the customers from who made the revenue uh, in the descending order. So I'm going to call this one. 
I got this uh, the result these are the three different customers who made uh, uh, high revenue uh, in the in the total data set uh, and also uh, to be noted that this procedure is only available to my HDI container uh, database uh, schema which is uh, uh, not available for the any ERP schema or cross container schema which is outside of the specific container. Uh, we're going to see more details of cross container schema and also the ERP schemas in the next video sessions. That's about uh, creating the stored procedure and executing, uh, deploying the stored procedure into the database and, and running the stored procedure from the database. I'm going to show you how to debug this procedure now. I'm going to invoke the context menu and say open for debugging. It's going to open a screen um, on the right side. I'm going to set up my connection. I have to make sure my uh, debugging uh, system is connected to the database container. So currently I'm using uh, my HDI container as the database. So I'm, uh, if, I, if it is not the right one, I have to choose the right appropriate uh, database HDI container. Since it's all good, I'm going to say close it, and then I'm going to run or invoke the procedure from the SQL page. I'm going to open an SQL console, and then I'm going to run this procedure by using the call statement. And I have to make sure the procedure has a breakpoint before running my uh, store procedure. I'm going into my procedure and I'm checking that yeah, there was no breakpoint. I'm going to keep a breakpoint right here. And then I'm going to run my procedure so that it gets executed in the debugging session. Okay, my uh, debugging session invoked. I can see that it is an input parameter uh, already uh, had the value four which is from my calling procedure. And I don't see the other two tables, temporary tables in my uh, variables section. This is because these are the temporary tables which are declared implicitly in the stored procedure. So the definition and the declaration of those tables are going to be during the program execution. So I'm going to get these tables uh, shown up in my variable screen. Uh, after the processor completes this particular execution. So I'm going to show uh, how it's going to happen. Now I'm going to run the step over and then I can see that the cursor moves to the next step and can see the first table got populated here. So I'm going to show you how to display the data at this stage. I'm going to display content shows me the data records of the um, result output from the select statement, which is assigned to top n uh, table. And what I'm going to do in the next line, uh, I'm going to take the input from this top n table and, and apply it as a filter condition to this uh, another select statement and the result of that output, the result of that select statement is passed to a different um, table. So I'm going to see that by running this step over. Now I can see that there are four different records extracted from business partner table, which gives me customer name and city and etc. all those details which are required for me. I'm going to show you uh, the display content for this one as well. So that's the company name and address ID, etc. I can also save the data uh, of the temporary table in the debugging session to a physical table. So by using this option, save table option. It's going to store the data into the database table so I can, for the further processing purposes. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cancel this one. And I have another um, um, button here, resume, which is going to execute all the lines of the procedure and takes the cursor back to or resumes to the initial state. Uh, I'm going to run this one and that's it. The program is executed and that's my 
uh, result set for this procedure execution. Uh, similarly, we can create and debug functions, the table functions in Web IDE for HANA. Um, it's going to be exactly very similar to what we have done in the stored procedure creation. Uh, that's all for this session. I hope it is helpful. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.